Hello guys, welcome to exercise 11-1. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to cut a section plane. It is one of the ways why we, how we communicate our drawings in our architectural set is by cutting through a section. So let's go ahead and get started. You're going to go under the project browser and go under the first floor plan. And when you're under the first floor plan, you're going to cut a longitudinal section that goes throughout the entire length of the building, cutting through this stair specifically. So we're going to go under view, under the create panel, you're going to select section. And you're going to draw this section all the way across. Now the direction you want to look at is going to be up towards north. And this is the depth, the view depth is controlled by, by this arrow here. And this is very similar to how depth was controlled in your elevation view. Now to enter into your section, you're going to go ahead and select this triangle here. And you can also note it or you can actually have it noted once you put the file on the sheet. So let's open up the view. You double click here on the triangle and this is what the section view looks like. So right now you're looking through and you're cutting through two arches here. You're also looking at the fact that the ceiling is cutting through the arch. So this is something that you might want to fix in the future. We're also looking at the fact that right here, as you come up the stair, your, hair, uh, your head will scrape that entire length of the stair as you come up because this floor is literally jutting into where you're going to be standing. So if I was to measure, again, I can use dim command or di and I measure from here to the top of the tread, it's only a three foot, 10 and a half inch distance where you will actually be able to walk through, which you can't technically do. The only thing you can do is crawl through that. So another thing about section is you're looking at this at what type of detail. We're looking at coarse detail. We can select medium detail and we'll start seeing some of the walls and windows that we're cutting through. Again, if you have a big enough model, you wanna keep that detail coarse until you blow up specific sections or specific wall sections. But in this case, medium is fine. Again, if we turn on line weights, the cut lines are gonna be red with much darker line weights, all of which is being controlled by your manage settings, all of which is already pre-programmed and you can alter the line weights under your manage settings. So once you have identified, going back to the first floor plan, that this particular section, this right here is your gap tool. This is an arrow, uh, this is pretty much a cut line which allows you to put the, and cut it in such a way that you're able to cut through and at the same time you're not interrupting the entire floor plan. Lastly, in this chapter, all we have to cover is how do you manipulate drawings? In this case, my floor was uh, cutting right through here and I was scraping my head across this area. So in the first floor plan, I'm just going to simply come in here again, going back to my section view. I'm going to simply come in here. Once that floor is selected, it's selected in all views and I'm going to modify the floor such that when you walk up the stairs, you're not hitting your head. So going back to the first floor plan, you're going to select edit boundaries. So once you have the drawing completed and those are your boundaries, you're going to hit check and where it says attach to walls above, you're going to go ahead and say attach and that cutout for the stairs have been created. And again, the drawings are communicating uh, across each other and they're coordinated. So if I go under the same section view, you're able to see that we cut through this floor and now you can walk up the stairs and you have the six foot eight clearance that is minimum by code for you to be able to walk across there. Again, you can continue to clean this, continue to clean the arch, but all of this is communicating across. With that said, that concludes exercise 11-1. Please like, subscribe, and comment below. Follow for more content.